How will you be using your micrometer? Could you show the viewers? I can. <coughs> this is the part that I intend to measure crossways and crossways again to find out of round variance mm -hmm. using my one to two inch micrometer. Why do you want to use the one to two? Good question. To get an idea of the size of micrometer because there are varying sizes zero to one, one to two, and two to three inch micrometers using a rule to get an idea of how large the component that you're going to measure is, as you can see, I'm larger than one and is smaller than two inch. So I want the one to two inch micrometer. Okay, so let's see you. <coughs> the micrometer, hold it as such. Now all micrometers should be zeroed with the gauge block that comes with them. It's important not to touch the metal ends with your fingers or your hands. They are covered in plastic for a reason. And what you want to do, just lightly touch it and one click. As you can see, the zero gauge is varied slightly off of the lower line below the one. You have this wrench. On the back side, you have a pinhole that will allow you to adjust this clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on where that is with the one. We're going to rotate it clockwise a little bit. Usually it's not far off. And now as you can see, the line, primer line below the one is now lined up perfectly with the zero mark on your thimble. Now we know the micrometer is within a zero range and is ready to measure accurately. Okay, Failure thank you. to do so you would make it inaccurate. Make your result inaccurate. Okay, it's good for everybody to know that. Roll the thimble out. In cases such as a loose part like this, it is often acceptable with the soft jaws to put this in a vise where you hold your part with one hand and turn the thimble with the other. So we do not have that. That is okay. right. Okay, we're going to roll. Yeah, and being a slippery part is smooth. Okay. Once it touches, mm -hmm. maybe twice. Yeah, the clicks on. Now you should have just Slight okay. variance. Mm -hmm. Little if your part can go in, you're okay. If you're off, it will not slide through. Mm -hmm. You will have a little drag. Then you lock Once it. that is done, okay. lock it. Okay. So now now to you take can the read reading. your scales. Okay, what do you have? As we know, we are already above one inch, but below two inch. So on my paper, I will mark 1.0000 as we are reading in the ten thousands scale. This scale here shows me in tenth of an inch increments. We are past seven tenths, but not quite eight tenths. So my next number will be point seven zero zero 
zero. Now for my hundredth and thousandth, each line past the tenth represents point zero two five increments. So I can see I see two visible lines, but yet not a third. So I'm at least at point zero five zero, but not quite point zero seven five. Then we start, we read from zero the digits here. Now, as I am zero is on the bottom side, five, ten, and we're about thirteen plus some, but we're going to take thirteen. You don't want the line above, you want the line below. Thirteen point zero one three plus point zero five zero on the side you can point zero five zero point zero one three that's point zero six three so we can take point zero six three and our last <coughs> what line coincides on this thimble with an upper line here that will give you your last digit and it must line up perfect and it looks to me like the four. Okay, can you turn it to the camera, let's see. Looks to me as though the four is lined up. Okay. So that would be point zero 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 four. So as we have, we have four. Three, six, seven, one. So our first measurement on the valve is 1.7634 inches. Inches, correct. I'm going to unlock this, roll it out. What is advisable when you make measurements like this? Make some type of a mark. So as when you set the valve down, you don't pick up and have it here in this measurement. You want it completely perpendicular. So we repeat the same uh, repeat process? Repeat the same process. For this. Uh, so I can get my hands right here. Perpendicular right. size. Yeah, that's to get the outer front. Make sure it rolls in and out. Now I lock it again. Now I can see my measurements. Again, one to two inches, so we're at least measuring one, but not quite two. So for my next measurement, 1.000. Second measurement, as I said, the vertical lines here. We are past seven, but not quite eight. So that's my point seven zero zero zero. And again, the smaller increments are by zero point two five. I see two, but not three, so I'm at least point zero five zero again. and how many digits I am from the zero mark up to my dominant line here. I'm again at zero, one, three. So that will give me the same answer that I had earlier by point zero, six, three. And last but not least, which line on the thimble corresponds with my ten thousandth number? And it looks to be, in this case, two. See that? 
So that's point zero 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 two. So that is two, three, six, seven point one. So now you're ready for your out of run. Mm -hmm. And most a uh, maintenance manual, they give you what your out of run should be. The, the tolerance or limits. For your overhaul. <coughs> so by one surface, I'm at 1.7634. The second, I'm at 1.7632. Mm -hmm. Subtract 1.7632 from 1.7634.